Hi, in this video I'm going to very briefly run through the permissions for Confluence Cloud add-ons. Uh, so each add-on in Confluence Cloud has a an associated user and that's how they want to allow administrators to control permissions for add-ons. Um, so I'm going to go through how to make sure the add-on user has access uh, to make the add-on work on your pages. Um, and then also, this implementation is far from ideal, and they're hopefully going to release a new feature to the framework shortly that will let us fix this, but I'll talk briefly about the problems uh, and the solution with the add-on users. So there's three places where you have to make sure the add-on user has permissions if you're having issues. Um, space level permissions are most commonly where permissions are controlled. Uh, you also can restrict uh, individual access to Confluence pages. Um, and finally, global permissions also have to allow the add-on to uh, have use permission. So the permission scheme with Confluence is not super intuitive. It's not super complicated, but uh, it just takes a bit of getting used to. So let's look at these real quick. All right, so here we are in Confluence Cloud, and uh, we just have one of my pages I test with. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and navigate to Space Tools, which is a link here, I guess, on the home page now with the new version of Confluence. Sometimes Space Tools is listed down here. Uh, but let's go here and look at Permissions. And so uh, in this case, Users, anyone in the User group has permissions. Um, to view and add pages, and those are the two important permissions needed. And then here I also have explicitly given uh, permissions to the copy page tree add-on user. By the way, if we go over and look at uh, under user management and type in add-on, it's going to show us, here I'll expand this a little bit, um, it's going to show us all the add-ons we have installed and they each have an associated add-on user. So if these users are not in the groups or not explicitly named uh, to have access to a space, then the add-on just won't work regardless of the add-on. Um, and again, that's not ideal um, because people are not thinking about the add-ons necessarily when they're restricting permissions, even though they want add-ons to work. Um, all right. so. Maybe real quickly I should mention that it'd be good to have an add-on group and then make sure that that group always has permissions or add the add-ons and give them administrator privileges, but you still need to explicitly, I believe, add administrators uh, to have access to spaces. So that is one place. Uh, the next place is if we, let me go ahead and navigate back to a page. Uh, and so on a page you can restrict access and if we do that uh, the add-on will stop working unless we also explicitly add for instance the copy page tree add-on um, so this that's a tricky one and one place you can check to see if there are restricted pages is you can go to space tools and under permissions, there is this restricted pages tab. And this will list all the restricted pages. So if you have restricted pages uh, where things don't seem to be working, that's why. And lastly, let's go ahead and look at the global permissions. That's under general configuration. And here we have type global permissions. Um, and in some cases, uh, administrators have configured their servers such that there's a specific group that has that use access to the server, but for some reason, the add-on user is not in that group. Um, Atlassian has changed over time that the way this all works, the way that add-ons are added to groups initially, etc. So... It's been a bit tricky, but um, generally, 
the add-on will already be part of a group that has use access, but if it doesn't, then it won't work. So just a bit more on the issues this causes. Uh, so sometimes add-ons can act as a user uh, in terms of gathering information, but then sometimes it acts as the add-on user when it actually tries to do something, and this is very confusing. Uh, like I mentioned, there's three different places where permissions must be properly configured. Um, and finally, when you create new content, you're not always thinking about this, and that new content can have different settings and things might stop working. Okay, so finally, here is the fix they're adding to the platform that will hopefully allow developers to solve this issue, even though we'll have to you know, rewrite a bunch of code. Um, and this was actually in the original spec. They pulled it out, which was a bit of a short-sighted decision. But um, if you vote for AC1080, uh, that will allow us to more quickly create cloud add-ons that uh, work more intuitively. Um, so there's this is the most voted for issue on the ecosystem. It's quite old. Uh, it looks like they've made progress on it. So here's hoping, but the more voices that um, Alassian hears, especially customer voices, is helpful to get that implemented. So please vote for AC-1080 on ecosystem.alassian.net. You might have to create an account. Thanks so much.